Long queues and increased security measures. That's what greeted passengers turning up today to airports across the country. I don't have a problem with uh, it gives me a sense of uh, security actually. It's, it's a lot stronger in Sydney than most other airports. The precautions came after the arrests of four men on the weekend on suspicion of plotting to bring down a commercial flight believed to be bound for the Middle East. Authorities say the measures will will remain in place for some time. The uh, heightened uh, security measures that have been undertaken at our airports have been done on the advice of our security agencies, which are the best in the world. We don't want to inconvenience Australians and the travelling public any more than we need to, but again, this is a trade-off that I know Australians are prepared to do. There are reports that men were planning to smuggle a meat mincer onto a commercial flight, which would be filled with wood scrapings and explosives. There's also a theory they were planning to release a toxic gas, which could immobilise or kill passengers. The plot was to put a device on a plane with the intent of bringing it down. And now I'm not going to go into any further detail from that, but you can appreciate that that is a horrendous objective. With the collapse of Islamic State in the Middle East, authorities say the threat of terror on home soil is actually greater. The facts demonstrate that we have uh, you know, foreign fighters returning back to Australian shores. And we've got people being radicalised online. Now, this threat is not going away. It's going to increase. The police have been granted special powers by a court to keep the men in custody for a maximum of seven days while interrogations continue. Caroline Marcus, Sky News, Sydney.